So know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And they answered him, We are Abraham's seed, and we were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, you shall be made free? And then Jesus answered them, saying, Very, very, or truly, truly, I say unto you, Whosoever, say whosoever. Whosoever. Now, we used to think of Psalm 2, Whosoever surely meaneth me. All right? So anytime the Bible says, And whosoever, it tell you that's talking about me. Amen. Right? Whosoever, that means anybody. Yeah. Right. Whosoever, glory to God, whosoever committeth sin, whosoever committeth sin is the servant or slave of sin. Whosoever committeth sin is the slave of sin. Mine. The slave of sin. That's right. Hallelujah. Now, the reason I say hallelujah is because Jesus came to set the captives free. Yes. He came to deliver yes, he our sin. He yes. came to break to destroy the That's power of sin in our Lord. lives. He came to bear our sins Hallelujah. in His own body on the tree so we could be dead to sin and we could live under righteousness. Praise the Father. He set me free. Yes. He set me free. Yes. He broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound. My Jesus to see. Glory to God. He set me free. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And who's the Son who set free is free indeed. Free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, baby. Jump up. Jump and shout. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He says, Verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the slave of sin. And the slave abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth. In other words, if you want to stay free, you've got to stay in Christ. That's right. You've got to stay in Christ if you want to stay free. Because the Son stays free forever. Amen. He's forever in the house. Yes. If you want to be in the house of God, you've got to be in Christ. Glory to God. you got to be in Him. Amen. In Him is no sin. Thank you, Lord. He that abideth in Him sinneth not. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. He came to destroy iniquity in your life. He came to set you free. He came to make you whole. Yes. Well, glory. Good preaching. Thank Amen. you, Father. Hallelujah. You got to start on this. Woo-hoo. Glory to God. I have a whole different message plan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> glory to God. Glory. What verse am I on? 36 now. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free. If the Son, therefore, shall make yes, you free. You shall I'll be free, free. indeed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If the Son will make you free, you'll, you'll be free indeed. Free from what? Free from sin. Amen. Free from uh, sin. Thank Glory. You Lord. Not free to sin. Free yes. from sin. Yes. Not free in sin. Yes. Free from sin. Yes. If you commit sin, you're a slave to sin. That's right. You're in bondage to that sin. Yes. Jesus came to set you free from sin. Thank you, Lord. He, an angel came to, to Joseph, the mother of the husband of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And he said, Be not afraid to take Mary to your wife. Because that which is conceived in her is a holy seed, it's of the Holy Ghost. She has not been with another man, but the Spirit of God came upon her and, and conceived His Son in her. And, and, and you shall name His name Jesus, for He shall deliver His people from their sins. Jesus came to save us. The word save means deliver. Jesus came to save us or deliver us from sin. That's why He came. Come on. He bare your sin in His own body on the tree. That's 1 Peter 2, 24. So you could be dead to sin. Paul says, it in, Paul says in Romans chapter 6, he says, he says, we are buried with Him in immersion that the old man of sin would be dead. And we'd be raised up together with him and in the business of life. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory. Even Paul taught these same things. Yes, he did. You see, the teachings of Paul were founded on the foundation that Jesus laid. Yes. Jesus, these is Jesus' teachings. 
That's right. Jesus, now some people say, well, Jesus was teaching Old Covenant principles. No, Jesus himself said the Old Covenant was to tell John the Baptist. He said, now since then, the kingdom of God is being preached unto you. The kingdom of, and that, that's what we're preaching today. The same kingdom of God. We're preaching kingdom principles. That's what Jesus taught. You know, John the Baptist said, repent of your sins. Turn away from your sins and turn to God. That's what Jesus preached. As soon as he began to preach, the first thing he said was repent and turn to God. Then in the new, after the, on the day of Pentecost, the first thing Peter began to preach, he said, repent and be turned, turn away from your sins and turn to God. Thank you, Lord. That's what we preach today. Repent, turn away from your sins and turn to God. Then God empowers you by the Spirit of Christ to walk in the new life in Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Glory, Praise. glory, Hallelujah. glory, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my Father, and you do that which you have seen of your Father. And they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. But Jesus said to him, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Mm -hmm. But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This is not Abraham. You do the deeds of your father. And they, said, they said to him, we are, we, are, we are not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. And Jesus said to them, if, you were, if God were your father... You would love me. He said, if God was really your father, you would love me. Yes. For I proceeded forth and came forth from God. Neither came out of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words. Yes. You are of your father, the devil. You are of your father, the devil. Now these are religious leaders that Jesus is telling this to. He said, you're not, your father is not God. He said, your father is the devil. You see, they were sinners. Come on. You know, most sinners don't think they're serving the devil, but they are. When you're sinning, you're serving the devil. Adam and Eve, when they sinned, they wasn't thinking they were bound to the devil, but they did. They, when they obeyed the devil, they obeyed. They, when they decided to believe the devil instead of believing God. They bowed their knees to the devil. That's right. And they gave their authority yes. to Satan himself. On that day, yes. they had these sins. They bowed their knees to the devil. And they gave up their authority. And the devil became the God of this world. The Bible calls Satan the God of this world. Did you know that? Yes. You know the devil, when he came to Jesus, tempted him in the wilderness. He'd been fasting and praying for 40 days before he died. And then the devil came. And he said, turn this, if you're really the Son of God, turn this stone into bread. And Jesus said, the word says, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And then the devil came to him again, and he said, he took him on the highest part of the temple. And he said, jump off here. He said, because the word says, the word says, the word says he'll give his angels charge over you, lest you dash your foot against the stone. And then Jesus said, the word also says, you don't put God to the test. Yeah. You know, God knows, that's why we don't bring snakes in here. They do that in some places in this country. They bring snakes in the church. We'll never do that in this church. We'll never do that in this church. You hear me? That's a problem. We'll never bring snakes in here to handle it. Glory. Because that's tempting God. You don't tempt God. Jesus told the devil, no, that's tempting God. You don't, you don't put God to the test. And then he, he showed him that somehow the devil has the ability to show him all the great cities of the world. He showed Jesus all the great cities of the world. And he said this, all these are mine. That's right. Now he wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. He had authority. All those were his. Yes. He is of this world. We're not of this world. This is not our. This is not our home. We are of a heavenly kingdom. Amen. Amen. We're of a, we're, when 
we come to Christ, we have a new home. Yes. Heaven is our home. Yes. One day heaven will come out of, out of the sky, right down here onto the earth. Yes. And we'll have a new heaven and yes. a new earth. Yes. We'll only dwell righteousness. 